Welcome to the Temple of Time. Hey everybody, it's Super Wolf Fruit God. Welcome to a brand new episode of The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. In the last episode, we we went to the Sacred Grove as human form and we also striked the Pedestal of Time, which opened up the Temple of Time. The nostalgia of this place is maddening. I mean, it looks different from the Ocarina of Time version, but I think it looks way better. Uh, besides where th there's no door of time, which kind of sucks. But, if we go up here, here is where the nostalgia is. Remember drawing that sword for the first time in Ocarina of Time? Well, it's just so amazing. Uh, the, the, the pedestal doesn't look really the same. You can still walk up down it like, but... Anyway, let's go ahead and strike the pedestal of time once more. <laughs> Uku. Okay then guys, so I wonder at the end of Ocarina of Time and spoiler alert, so I would really if you haven't played that game, I would really just mute yourself, so I'll give you five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. And so at the end of Ocarina of Time when Navi flies up and leaves Link, does she go at the top or does she go up there? where we are going now. I have no idea, but seriously, I love this next dungeon. Or a temple, because it is a temple. It's the Temple of Time. Okay then. The Temple of Time. So guys, here we are. <laughs> I love this area. Um, it is a bit tricky. Um, like for instance, I did loads of this dungeon. I got to the final boss, the door. I forgot the boss key, so I had to climb all the way back up the tower to go and get the freaking boss key. So I'm not going to forget it this time around. Don't you think there's something odd about that statue? In the grove and in the temple entry, there's always watching ones on each side. But there's only one here. Why don't you use your senses to take a look around? Uh, we'll do, Midna. Just... Actually, no, we don't really need to use our senses here. Um, because, obviously, if you're an idiot, you would do that. <laughs> you want to go ahead and put this on here. And that there. And that'll raise a platform. Okay, guys, I'm sorry for that slight audio cut right there, but I'm back. So, well, not audio cut. Everything cut. <laughs> we had everything cut then. Um, so, anyway, yeah, here we are in the Temple of Time. We're going to, we're going to put that on there, and I'll raise a platform. Um, here, there's a nice little jug. I don't know what it's full of. Nothing. I mean, in the Wind Waker, you could, it was full of water. The same looking jugs. But whatever. Uh, let's go ahead and light them, and a little treasure chest will appear. I'm actually really rinting through this game. I've seen people on parts, let's say, part 80, and only at the freaking, only at the, what dungeon is it? I'm trying to think. Um, hey, Uku. Um, Arbiter's Grounds. Anyway, at last, this is it. This is where I've been trying to get to. The ancient technology of our people sleeps in this place. We've searched all over, and now we're so close, I can smell it. <laughs> oh, God. Once we find that thing, you we can go back home at last. Oh, gracious, yes. Um, Young man, we're so close. So please help us find what we're looking for. We got Uku and Uku Jr. this time. This kind of character can let you out of in and out of dungeons and return to where you were. Press it on B in my screen. We all know how to use Uku because we've been in here since the beginning. Okay, so we got a small key. And that's always fun. <laughs> um, I'm really enjoying this game. I'm really loving it. Anyway, is that Tactite? I think it is. First time we've seen a Tactite. 
Oh, no, 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 no. We saw them in the uh, thingy. Where did we see them? I don't know. Um, save one of these jars because you're going to need them. I nearly smashed all of them then. Uh, what you want to do is go over here. You want to place it on this little square right there. And that will open up everything. Uh, go ahead and grab your little treasure chest that you are rewarded with so much. Uh, it's going to give us arrows here. So you may be thinking, why does it give us arrows? Um, to do this, <laughs> it's, it's a little weird, I know. Uh, you want to go up here and... Boosh! That's how you smash him up, bro. Link's just like, yeah, boy. Okay, so what you want to do here is, as you can see, there is no way over that gate. Uh, there is a little hook shot shot there. Uh, that won't help us at all. And there is a hook shot shot. He oh, no, there isn't no hook shot shots here. So we can't get through. So what we've got to do is we've got to use our trusty arrow to hit that pot. That'll shut the gate and open this one. Really weird, I know. All right, Lazalfos. Hello. Oh god, my sword's hitting that. Okay, come here. Ah, uh, yeah. Boosh. That's how you beat a Lazalfos, bro. Whoa, whoa, whoosh. That's how you do it. Swag. Yolo. Oh my god, three Lazalfoses. Come on, guys. Okay, let me charge up my shot, please. Let me charge up my shot. Ah! Get out of here, you. Okay, come, come here. There we go. Okay, come, dude. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna charge it up now. Uh, yeah, that's how you do it. And, oh God, I did not see that. That's an Armos, uh, I believe. Uh, they look different in this version. Um, I'm used to the Wind Waker version because I've been playing a lot of that game recently. Uh, Wind Waker HD, that is. Um, I like the, I like, I prefer the HD version. I'm not gonna lie because the Tingle Bottle is just amazing. Um, anyway, dungeon map sorted. That's what we want. And I also need the compass. So I don't know where that is. Stop. Oh, this microphone, man. Stop. There we go. That's perfect. Now I can swing. My freaking USB cable that is attached to my computer is in my way, so I can't swing my arms. Uh, but I've sorted it. Makeshift for the moment. Or I could just run it down my, uh, my microphone stand. This microphone stand is terrible, by the way. I wouldn't recommend it. It, it's freaking bent already, the bar. There's a bar where you can shift it up and down, and it's bent, like, completely. And it's it's just not holding. I mean, it's going so low. Luckily, I'm going to I'm gonna do some makeshift stuff and hopefully fix it. Uh, okay, we got that there, and we need to press both of them switches. So, I guess we can use these guys. Oh, and we also get a really, really interesting item from this dungeon. Why is my voice so low? I'm so sorry about this, guys. Uh, is that better? I think that's better. Yeah, it looks better. Okay, so I've turned my voice volume up a bit. I'm really sorry if that was too low. Oh, what a shot! I'm so good at this game. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. If you've seen Zelda Master 2020, 2010, he's okay, but... Yeah, he doesn't live up to me. <laughs> I'd like to do a versus with him. I think that would probably be the best Zelda versus of all time. Like, legitimately, I know people do um, speedruns of this game. And I don't believe in speedruns. Uh, are they called speedruns? Yeah, they are. I don't believe in them. I think you should play a game for the game, not sprinting through it, glitching it, and... what? What's the word? Oh, Beemos. So what was that thing that I called? Armos. Um, what was I calling it? Um, God, they always attack when they get so close. Um, I don't think you should exploit a game's glitch uh, to beat it in a speedrun. That is not fair. I mean, any percent. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Any percent runs are good. But when you're exploiting... Look at how many floors this place has, by the way. We're only on the third floor. We've got a while to go. Uh, exploiting a video game glitch is not nice, so... I don't really, it's not something that I typically agree with, agree with, but I would like to see a legitimate version between me and Zelda Master 2010 because I would kick ass, I'm not gonna lie. I, I, I'm not even trying here, that's the thing. Um, I mean, if I really did try, I'd be rolling everywhere. <laughs> but I don't like rolling in Let's Playing because, you know, it's just really annoying. <laughs> um... Where am I going? This way? I know where I'm going. Hey, hello. I just I saw you. I'm going to go on this so you don't hurt me. Uh, okay, so I need some blocks. So I need this guy. 
And I also need one more. He's going to be behind me soon. There he is. Okay, thanks for that. Uh, there's the other one. I'm going to go ahead and put this block on here. Just so I can. Come on. Seriously. There we go. Um. Okay, so I, I know where the last one is. Ah. I like this um, Legend of Zelda's rolling. Well, Link's rolling, not Legend of Zelda's rolling. I like the Twilight Princess rolling because you can actually control Link while he's rolling. That's what I really like about it. Look at his hat. That always messed me up. All right, so what I want to do is I want to throw this onto here, but I want to do something here real quick. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? I can't get it now. <laughs> Link, what the? F <laughs> I can't get it. Wait, can I latch it? Please say cut. Oh, no. <laughs> what the? <f> <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Are you kidding me? Can I not get that down? What? What if I ball and chain it? Oh, yeah, that's working. I can push it off. I can't believe that. What the hell? I don't like the aimer on this ball and chain as well because it doesn't really, you know. You have to aim slightly to the left of items to get a direct hit. If it's close to you like that. Come on, it's nearly off. Come on. Link, is it just stuck on the end now? Because I don't think you can push it any further than that. Oh, I thought I did it then. Come on. <laughs> Yay. Finally. <laughs> what were the odds in that? I'm going to hit these guys with a jump attack smash. Kadoosh. Didn't do nothing. Because I, I think this is going to be the best way. I'm just going to stab them. Stabby, 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 stab, stab. Die. All right, whatever. Use the spinner. All right, that's easy. That's actually really easy using the spinner to kill these guys. So I want to see if you actually get a treasure chest from defeating these. Which I do believe you do. They just run. A bomb would be nice. Like bomb arrows. That would really mess them up. Ha! Triple kill. Yeah. Come here. It's like stabbing spiders for a living. Don't go out and stab spiders for a living, kids. I don't even think how you can make a living off that. Oh, yeah. So, killing all those will release this barrier so we can get back easier. So, we don't have to run all the way up there. Just wasted so much time. But... <laughs> oh, where's the... There it is. I can't believe that. Just my luck. I throw it and it lands on top of the freaking turntable. I mean, <laughs> what are the odds in that, really? Two bazillion to one. Someone will go work out. But whatever. Wait, where am I going with it? Oh, over there. Ah, uh, get out of the way and go stand over this side so the, what, this one can go past me. That one might come faster. There we go. And I'm going for it. Yeah. Yeah, I made it. You mad, bro? You mad, bro? Whoa. All right, go. There we go. You have to do that pretty fast or else you're not going to be able to get up there. Get up there, son. Okay, I think I'm coming up close to the end of this episode anyway. Um, is this a mid-boss? It's kind of a mid-boss, I guess. I know it's Armos is, so they're going to come up alive. They just got really got a hammer. You just want to hit them like three times, and they're just going to smash them out. That's all they do. It's really easy to destroy. Like, seriously. Right, I'm going to break these pots. Because YOLO! Did I break them pots? Well, I, de I defeated the armor, so I got a treasure chest. Uh, hopefully, it's the compass. Oh, I didn't break them? Really? All right, whatever. Um, there's got to be something up there. I'm going to go ahead and get this treasure chest first, though. Okay. There we go. So, I was playing Wind Waker the other day, and I found something. I found something called Tingle Statues. I didn't even know they were in the game until yesterday because tingle statues and um, there's a guy called knuckle who makes them he's a tingle as well well a tingle race tingle owns the entire race of uh tingles but whatever um tingle statues like golden statues and you have to place bombs in certain areas of dungeons to get them and it, it's it's kind of easy now that i know about them because i was like oh why is this platform here there's nothing there like um in Let's say Dragon Roost Cavern. Okay, I'm going to tell you guys about this. Uh, Dragon Roost Cavern, the room before you get the boss key, uh, where you're swinging, and there's like a little alcove and a wall that has no use being there besides turning you around to jump back. 
Um, in there, if you place a bomb by that wall, there's a Tingle statue. And I gotta say, why? I never even knew about them until, like, yesterday. There's loads, like, um, well, there's only five, sorry. Uh, there's one in the Earth Temple. God damn it. Uh, there's one in the... Uh, Forsake... Uh, no, there isn't one in there. Um... I'm trying to think. I'm actually going off the top of my head. There's one in all dungeons beside the Forsaken Fortress. That's all I can say. There's one in the Goddess Goddess Temple. There's one in the Dragon Roost Cavern. There's one in the Forest Haven. And there's one in the Earth Temple and Wind Temples. Um, I, I don't... I mean, I think Legend of Zelda could have been a lot bigger. Not this one. This one's way too freaking big. But Wind Waker... Um, it's okay, but there's only one really big quest, and that's either getting the Triforce pieces or finding every single treasure chart in the game. I mean, okay, yeah, whatever, but I mean, it's repetitive. You're just going to find, you're just going to go on every island and just search it. I mean, like this game, you can walk anywhere. That one, you sail. And I mean, there's not even that many places to explore besides the Great Sea, which is okay. But, personally, I think that this Zelda game is a lot bigger. <laughs> I really enjoyed this game because it reminds me so much of Ocarina of Time that I just finish him. Oh, come on. I could have finished him. Like, I love this one so much. because It's just so fun. I mean, going around slicing things, and it's got a dark side to it as well, um, which I like. <laughs> which I, like, I didn't even hit that. Um, yeah, I do like this game. It's very, very fun. And I recommend, if you have not played it, I recommend you go... Oh my god, that is a big freaking Liz Alpha. Really, Link? Really? <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to do is do that. Then I'm going to finish him. I think that's the best way to kill these armored Liz Alphas is because you can swipe them and they'll just uh, defend. So what I think you should do is just that. And it's so easy, but they get up so quickly, so you can't have a chance to finish them. Uh, oh god, he's actually blocking really good now. Come here, dude. Get close. Hut, hut, watch out! That's how you do it. So you do it in my neighborhood, bitch. Okay. Um, yeah, I really should end this episode. It's been about twenty minutes. Did I hit that? No, I didn't. How did I not hit that then? I was right on the marker. Okay. Um, pots, nothing there. Hello, Liz Alphos. I'm gonna just rip you to bits. Ha! How is I? How am I not defeating you? Seriously? Oh wait, right in his face. Well, that's how you do it. All right. What I want to do is I want to kill this guy. Maybe I should try the shield bash. I think you have one split second to finish him. Uh, like really one split second. Uh, uh come on, come on. I hate fighting these guys because they never die. I'm going to try the shield bash. Oh, I could have done the helm splitter, but... I don't know. The shield bash worked. All right, whatever. Let's hit that switch. And there we go. God, I love this game. I've said it I said it before, and I'll say it again. This game is amazing. I missed a treasure chest, by the way. Oh, did I get the compass? Yeah, I must have. Um, okay, then. So, I think we are nearly at the top. Um, oh, no, we're not. I just remember what this room was, and I hate it because you gotta kill all of these things. Um, so I'm gonna use a spinner here. There we go. Kill loads of them. I actually died here, which um, in the not in the something version. I actually died um, by these things because they're so stupid. I really wish they would all die. So I'm just gonna blow them up. Ha <laughs> ha! Kyle's got the upper hand now, bitch. Oh, did I learn the great spin yet? Oh, no, I didn't. Did I? Oh, no, I didn't. I'm thinking of a different Zelda game. I learned the great spin in um, A Link Between Worlds. Uh, I have found all the Mayamas. I'm so awesome. I found them all without a guide as well. Um, <laughs> so they were really easy to find, actually, because you can just hear them like, Neh. I mean, some Zelda games, you don't even have the little noise that they make. Uh, well, there's no Mayamas in any other Zelda game. I'm just saying, if you need to, like, bugs. I mean, they let off a little glisten when you're near one, but it's not enough. Like, Mayamas are just like, hey, bitch, I'm here. Come get me. 
<laughs> but yeah, I, I do like Link Between Worlds. I really want to let's play it, but unfortunately I'm not big enough on YouTube yet to be able to afford a 3DS capture card. So, if you guys want to see a Link Between Worlds, then I'm going to need to get bigger so I can get some money and to get the, um, what is it? Link Between Worlds, that's it. Why am I forgetting what that was? Ah, pressure plates, always fun. Ah. <laughs> so, Link Between Worlds, I really want to let's play as soon as I get a 3DS capture card, which I don't have, unfortunately. So, I uh, can't wait for that. Awesome. Anyway, I've missed the treasure chest again. Why do I always miss the treasure chests? Anyway, I don't really want to save here because I've got, like, if I switch my uh, Wii off, then I've got to do it all again. There's a post hole up there. Why is there a post hole up there? Um, wait a minute, wait a minute. i got to get this. I've got to go and get that post hole. I'm going to get that and then I'm going to end the episode, I think. Ha! I don't think we can actually get it yet. I think I need the this dungeon item. Yeah, look, I can't read. Oh, wait, there we go. That must be a glitch. <laughs> okay, so I need to put that there and I need to use the spinner. Come on. I want to go and get this um, post soul and treasure chest. Ha! Yeah! All right, that was awesome. Um, transform into wolf form. And we can go ahead and get the post soul. Oh, there's a door up here. Is there? So I've just seen a door. Alright, there we go. Come on, I'm, this post soul is really kicking my ass. Alright, there we go, rip his soul out. Da, 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 da. I actually, when I first played through this, I don't think that I got into this room. Um, I think this is the room that houses the boss key as well. I'm not sure, why is Link sniffing that rippy? Whatever. Your fetish is whatever you want it to be, Link. Okay, yeah, yeah, this is definitely the one that houses the boss key. Um, so I want to do this in human form. Because I can use my hook shot. Or my claw shot. I don't like how they changed the name. I really did like the hook shot better. Because it could go onto wood. I think that's why they changed it, you know. Because uh, the hook shot can go onto wood. Any type of wood. Besides signs. Um, God, I'm ripping this guy apart. Um... So that's why I like it. Uh, okay, there we go. Uh, so the door's open, but what can I do? Ah, yeah, there we go. So you want to go up here, and there's a sw the switch is up here. I'm going to show you guys how to press these. I want to go ahead and get this treasure chest, and then I'm going to end the episode once we've got the boss key. Because then I've got to walk all the way back up here anyway. Uh, let's go ahead and claw these up. This is how you do it. This is how you do it. I haven't heard that song in years. Um, put down there. Uh, we got one more down there, I believe, somewhere. Hey, oh, he's down there. Can I reach him from here? Yeah, I guess so. Oh, come on! Come on, Link is right there. There is the frame. There we go. Okay. Uh, drop that onto there. Drop that onto there. Okay. And there's the boss key. Yeah, so we did have to come into this room. So I was lying. But anyway, that's where I forgot the boss key because it's in such a location that we can't find. But there we have it. We got the boss key. So I think it is about time that we end this amazing dungeon right here. We've been in it for quite a while. So next time on The Legend of Zelda, The Twilight Princess. Who is the Twilight Princess anyway? Is it Minna or Zelda? I don't know. I'm going to jump off here and do this attack. Love it. Okay. <laughs> Uh, we're going to be we're going to be continuing with the Temple of Time. We're going to try and get up to the top, and we've got to make our way back down. Remember that statue at the beginning that was missing? Yeah, we've got to make our way back down with that statue. <sighs> All the way down, by the way. I'll see you guys then.